This is the solution to written homework 14. Okay, so um, part A, this is a substitution antiderivative. So specifically, we could say that u is the log of x, and then as a result, du is 1 over x dx. And what I want you to observe is that means that we can cover all of the x variables, those ones, with u. And we can cover all of these other items, 1 over x dx, with du. So between the red and the green, this covers all variables and differentials. Differentials. Okay, the 7 isn't covered, but the 7 is a constant, so it that doesn't matter because it's not a variable or a differential. So as a result, the new antiderivative is antiderivative of u to 7 du, which thankfully is one of the antiderivatives you know. So this would be u to 8 over 8 and then plus some constant and then taking it to be back in terms of uh, x. The answer is natural log of x to exponent 8 divided by 8 plus a constant. Okay. So again here, this is another substitution. Uh, just so you don't get too attached to the letter u as being somehow special, I'll use a different letter. I'll use v. So I'll say that uh, v letter v is t squared plus 1, then dv as a result would be 2t dt. So doing that, this whole box, everything in that box will be covered by the v. And then everything in the green 2t d ooh that should be a that should be a t right there so that should be a t uh, is covered by dv the six isn't covered but it's not a variable or a differential it's a constant so that doesn't matter so this would be antiderivative of <coughs> of what so that would be 1 over v to 6 dv. Then we could rewrite that as antiderivative of v to negative 6 dv, which would be uh, v to negative 5 over negative 5 plus a constant, which substituting back to t's would be t squared plus 1 to exponent negative 5, all of that divided by negative 5, and then plus a constant. And that's the answer.